Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to do my third ever DIY glitter wall art inspired by Z Gallery paintings. And um, this one is going in my hall bathroom because I had a huge space above the toilet that was blank that I needed to fill. So here's the supplies you're going to need and let's get started. I'm using white and black paint the tiniest, tiniest drop of black because a little bit goes a long way. And I'm gonna mix three different shades of gray. Now you can use whatever colors you want. You can actually go out and buy pre-mixed paint, but this is what I had on hand. Now I didn't show it on camera, but I took the first batch of paint that I mixed and added more white to it to make a lighter shade of gray. And I am overlapping kind of for the ombre look, I guess, with my second shade. I'm creating icicle strokes with my brush just to give myself a guide on how I want the shades of gray to blend and you know where I'm gonna apply things next. And now I'm mixing my third shade of gray by adding more white paint to the gray that I already had. Now, this actually looks pretty good here. I could have stopped and just added glitter and been done, but I wanted more definition, so I am adding white paint to the icicle strokes just to give it more pop of, um, I guess the icicle look, I guess is what I could say. <laughs> um, but I don't go into these DIYs with a clear plan. Um, I don't have a clear picture in my head. I just kind of eyeball it and make changes here and there. So you'll see me doing that. I'm gonna be going back and forth with different shades of paint and glitter until I like what I have. And that's what it's all about. Just be in the moment, be creative. See, I'm using more gray paint just to define the icicle strokes. And, and I just keep doing this until I like what I have. Now here, the glitter that I'm adding is just on top of wet paint. I haven't added anything else. And I'm focusing mainly on the middle and on my icicle strokes to bring those out. And then going back with paint for more definition. And I do add just sprinkles of glitter on the top and the bottom. You can't really see it that well right here, but you'll be able to see it later on. It took me about two hours to create this painting and then chop it down to a six to seven minute video. But um, I do go back and forth like I mentioned. And like I said, when you create this, don't give yourself any rules, just be in the moment and do what you like until you have your finished result. Now 
Now I'm going to shake off the glitter that didn't adhere to see where the blank areas are. And I always scoop up the glitter and reuse it if I can. I try to capture as much of it as I can. And then I'll take Mod Podge, my crusty bottle of Mod Podge, and I'll fill in the gaps and just add more glitter. And I didn't like how spaced out my larger icicles were, so I'm creating more with the Mod Podge and adding glitter to that. And here's my final result. I'm gonna take this outside and spray it with this Mod Podge clear sealer. And I give it a couple of coats so that we don't have a lot of glitter fall out. And here is the finished painting. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe and maybe even share with somebody that is into this kind of thing. And uh, let me know in the comments if you would, if you recreated this, I'd love to know about it. And have a blessed and joyous Easter coming up. And thank you again for stopping by.